tired of ducking the feds, but it's a struggle to make it. So this is your day, homie. Now it's time to shine. Pay for players only keeping me from wine and dine. Stress free from the drama, better get your ticket. Then come on, cause the squares can't lie to kick it. It feels good not to grind no more. Don't get it twisted, cause I still her soul. Maintaining this, trying to reach my goal. Living life truly successful. So that my little soldier never have to sell no dough. All the cutties from the beers coming home again. And we ain't trying to kill each other, cause brother, we all in. Beautiful black women give them much respect. It ain't no funk when the east and the west is just a play of holiday. A struggle with God first, y'all know we all can't help but bubble. So keep your head up and know that things are changing for the better. Talking about the youth, the little kids, forget about you. Because he speak English. The whole Wu Tang is behind me. Yeah, yeah. Bong, bong, bong. And this is the beat. It is hard to believe it, but we are just three days into the new year, 2020, as the president waits to go on trial, literally. 
And the world reels from this airstrike that is, of course, upending the Middle East. So we're going to dig into some of that right now, as well as some wider topics on, yes, our first Fallback Friday of 2020. The new year has a tradition in hip hop, a year in review by the man you see here, Uncle Murda, a Brooklyn rapper who's worked with Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Mariah Carey, and more. His new wrap-up tackles the top moments in 2019 from politics to culture to music. And some disses and some fallbacks, I think, along the way. I should mention also the new album coming out, Don't Come Outside, Volume 2, that actually drops next week. And also dropping some science, MSNBC anchor Eamon Moyledean. He's one of the first Western journalists to cover the trials of Saddam Hussein. He knows his way, of course, around this big story in the Middle East and is host of Morning Joe's First Look right here on MSNBC. Uh, nice to see both of you. Nice to be here. Yeah, same, yeah, same. Great to be here. You uh, handle the end of the year. Yes. Uh, for those that know, this is a hip-hop tradition. For those that don't, well, they're going to know right now. Definitely. I want to get into the politics. Uh, well, this, is, this is from your new Year in Review song. You say, Trump getting impeached made America great again. If the Senate don't approve it, the impeachment irrelevant, and Trump's racist expletive He's still going to be the president. Uh, what are you getting at there? Um, I just feel like, you know, that was his slogan, make America great again. So I feel like him actually getting impeached is a step to making America great again. And um, also, we know that if the Senate don't approve it, the impeachment is irrelevant. Yeah. And then we still got to deal with this guy being the president, which we can see, like, things he done done just in the last couple of days when he feel like the press is against him. He make rash decisions, so... You sound like a lot of the pundits and the experts we talk to who say, OK, impeachment happened, but if the Senate doesn't do it, or as some critics put it, if the Republican fix is in, what was the point? Exactly. So I just feel like Trump is just using this to just try to just, you know, stray away the attention from what's really going on in his impeachment. You know. Let me read another one, because you these are what they call sometimes shots fired. Yes, definitely. Oh, definitely <laughs> shots fired, yes. <laughs> um, now, this is about a, a, a friend of Trump, Kanye West, who mm. upset a lot of people this year. You, you, you say in the new song, Kanye promoting God because his new album coming out, but he, in it really for just the bankroll, he didn't even write that famous Jesus Walk record, Ask Jay, J. Cole. And then you go on to say, Gucci did some racist expletive, we wasn't feeling it. Stopped rocking it for a couple months. Now we back wearing it. <laughs> Who are you calling out here? Um, you know, sometimes the hip-hop community could be a little 50-50. I feel like we was against Gucci for a couple of months. Uh, then it quieted down. Then everybody just kind of went back to wearing Gucci. Like, we kind of forgot the whole blackface thing that they did. Mm -hmm. And um, with Kanye, I just felt like he seen the people was getting tired of his... Um, his, his politics and certain things he was doing. So I think he tried to go the God route to like, look, I changed. I'm with God now. Support me again. And I just thought that was kind of corny. So that's why I called it out in the wrap up. Well, and wasn't it Pusha T who said, I believe there's a God above me. I'm just the God of everything else. Mm hmm. That's pretty powerful, <laughs> but I'm not going to weigh in on that one, Ari. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say, in the Middle East, whenever you crack jokes about God, it doesn't end well. So I'm, no, well, I'm going to, you know, it's one of the nice things now, about hold being on. in America. I wasn't joking about the Lord. I was just quoting. No, someone. I know. I'm just saying, anytime, in the Middle East, I'm just saying, politics and religion, even in culture, fair. you got to try to, you respect That's those fair. boundaries. So. Um, we have got to get into something that happened so late in the year, it didn't fully make your end of the year write up, which is Drake. Uh, who's, a, of course, a singer and an actor Definitely. and a rapper. Artist of the decade, according to streams, 28 billion streams. Hey, he did Drake this new is... interview. We put together a few of the key moments from the new interview. Let's take a look. Mm. I pulled my weight when it came to my pen. I mean, I, I guess I just make music for, like, dusty guys. <laughs> the pitch was far-fetched. Like, okay, so you're telling me this Canadian Jew child actor is going to be what? Is going to be like someone that we say is in our top five, top ten, whatever. It's like, it was, it was a hard sell. Can you tell Chef to make me another glass of wine, please? Because I'm parched. I don't know if you guys went to the toilet yet, but you know, the toilet plays Pac. I heard, I did, I did wow. pee and I yeah. heard Pac. I got scared. Yeah, I know, yeah. Man. Yeah, it's just like just curating the, the, the space. But it's... <laughs> 
And so this is my fallback. <laughs> Shout out to Drake. I think Drake needs to fall back a little bit when he's being extra. But I have a double fallback. I think the Drake critics need to fall back from never being able to hear anything he does, just holding the success against it. Where do you come down? Um, I'm actually a big fan of Drake, and I'm working on trying to get a, a, a record with Drake this year, so I don't want to get him mad. <laughs> so I just want to say I'm team Drake, and I'm with Drake. <laughs> hey, at least he's honest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eamon, pro quote. That sounds like a quick pro quote to me. <laughs> Eamon, we're not going to make you get into all this. Yeah, I'm going to ask don't. you, what's your fallback? All right, so I don't like to call out other journalists, but today's fallback Friday for me is definitely uh, the Boston Globe because I'm going to put this up right here on the screen. Pretty monumental day in world affairs. Lots going on around the world, possibly on the brink of war. Yeah, and you got what? You got... But you got the Boston Globe here putting up just a home game for Brady or the end of the road. I mean, I get it. It's like, I know it's like, we're, it's a New England Patriots game. It's like the NFL playoffs. But, you know, the world is on the brink. Uncharted territory. And it's not, it's not on, it's not even below the fold, Ari. There's nothing on the bottom part. And listen, when the New York Post the tabloid Right, magazine? when the tabloids are covering international affairs. Every single paper has got a mention of something to do with Look the Iraq. Look at Eamon bringing receipts. I, like I said, I, don't, I have a lot of respect for American journalists and American journalism. Sure. I don't like to call them out, but I think the Boston Globe miss, missed this one completely. I don't know if this was a late post, so they weren't able to get the Qasem Soleimani yeah. in before mm. publishing. But there's just no excuse. If the, if the New York Times, the Washington Post, the USA Today, the New York Post can do it... Just uh -oh. I th Uncle Murdo tell Boston you. Globe and the wrap up for you. I got you. <laughs> you could, and Uncle Murdo, I heard the. I heard when Tom Brady cheats. When Tom Brady cheats, it doesn't go in the Globe at all. <laughs> yeah, it don't. Yeah, I mean, you know, they they bias. We're out of time. Thank you, <laughs> Amen, for putting up with us, Uncle Murdo. Thanks Thank for coming you. through. Thank I hope you, you do it every year. That's hey, I'm Ari Melber. What's up, y'all? This is Fad Joe, and this is the Beat. And you can find this segment and more of our work at msnbc.com/slash/thebeat. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that. DJ Bolt in the building. DJ Bolt in the building. Seems like count me out. I'm counting my bullets. I'm loading my clips. I'm writing down names. I'm making a list. I'm checking it close. I'm getting them hits. The real ones been down. The fake ones is lit. The game is off balance. I'm back on my sh The bitly is dirty. My sneakers is dirty. But that's how I like it. You all on my dick. I'm all in my bag. It's hard as it get. I do not store powder. I might take a sip. I might hit the blunt. But I'm liable to trip. I ain't popping no pill. But you do as you wish. I roll with some fiends. I love them to death. I got a few mil. But not all of them rich. What good is the bread if my dick is broke? What Get his first class of my can't sit. That's my next mission. That's why I can't quit. Just like LeBron, get my more chips. Just put the rollie right back on my wrist. This watch came from Drizzy. He gave me a gift. Back when the rap game was praying like this. To act like two legends cannot coexist. But I never be for the for nothing. If I smoke a rapper, it's gonna be legit. It won't be for clout. It won't be for fame. It won't be because my ain't selling the same. It won't be to sell you my latest little sneakers. It won't be because some slid in my lane. Everything grows. It's destined to change. I love you, little I'm glad that you came. I hope that you scrape every dollar you came. I hope you know money won't erase the pain. To the OGs, I'm thanking you now. I was watching you when you was paving the ground. I copied your cadence, I mirrored your style. I studied the grace, I'm the greatest right now. If you feel me, you ain't got a choice. I ain't do no promo, still made all that noise. This shit gon' be different, I set my intentions. I promise to slap all that hate out your voice. Dude. Don't count me out, I'm counting my bullets, I'm loading my clips, I'm writing their names, I'm making a list, I'm checking the choice and I'm getting them hit. The real ones been dying, the fake ones are lit, the game is up front, it's the better match. The thing is dirty, my sneakers is dirty, but that's how I like it, you all on my bones in the building. I just pulled up in the Benz, I 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 pulled up in the